With me I have Lauren Harrington. She's the general manager of Armistead uh, uh, Caregiver Services and also Tom Juris and he's the um, president, right? Correct. Huh? Yeah. Correct. Um, falls. Let's talk about Falls and then we'll talk about Armistead. Okay, very good. What's going on? You have an event coming up on the 21st, is that it? Yep, we, uh, we find that there's an awful lot of seniors who a, a fall can change their lives. There's a lot of like seniors. Like on a dime. Right, very high senior population in our area. Um, a simple broken hip suddenly puts you in rehab. Um, a occupational therapist, a physical therapist can say, gee, Mrs. Smith, you can't go back into your home again. Yeah, you're going to have to go somewhere else. Right. It's like, no, I right. want to go back home again. Right. And, and most seniors do want to traditionally want to stay it's in their homes as long as possible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So there's simple things people can do. There's a lot of services in our area to help people stay in their homes longer. So what we did is we decided since the 22nd is the first day of fall, it seemed like a good time to throw a little oh, social. what a little, what a connection <laughs> that is. Tom, right? you got a really good manager absolutely, here. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> right. so, so the senior community in, in this area is really well connected. I reached out to uh, uh, my friend Alicia McMullen, who's the registered dietitian at ShopRite. They do I think a, she's coming on the show. She is wonderful. She's yeah. wonderful. And, and she said, well, there's so many things ways that we can all get together and talk about and work together right Partner. as a community right Partner. right so Alicia's going to talk about um, ways they can change their diet to increase calcium and improve bone health um, we've got a couple occupational therapists and physical therapists from Ellis Hospital coming in talking about uh, physical activities they can do to increase mobility to decrease falls um, Ed Malone is with Prime Care Medical and Silo awesome organization and Ed's going to talk about simple adaptations in the home to keep you... Bars, you know, little uh, catch bars. And stuff Absolutely. Like that, yeah. Ed and I are both uh, CAP certified, which is a licensing designation that's Certified Aging in Place Specialist. And Oh, I like that. Uh, and thank you. It's through the National Home Builders Association. Okay. And, the, and the Home Builders Association in the country feels that there are simple things people can do, what they call universal designs, to have more grab barbs in the house, not for seniors, for all of us. Yeah. You know, I mean, how I many... grab the rail and going downstairs sometimes right. because I got my hands full. I'm going, sure. I better be careful. Right. <laughs> all I need is for the dog or the cat or something. To Absolutely. Go. Something shoots out from underneath yeah. your feet. Somebody with little kids has toys on the stairs. Yeah. A grab bar would prevent them from falling. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot of things. So Ed is going to talk about ways to, to make adaptations, getting rid of the little scatter rugs, um, moving your coffee table. I mean, simple stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to talk about how uh, a caregiver in the home can help a senior if you're worried about your mom or dad. Mm -hmm. Somebody else sort of keeping an eye on things uh, as a safety presence can prevent falls. Now, this is going to be when? September 21st. And where? At our lovely facility at 95 Dahlia Street in Schenectady. Okay, that's in over in Rotterdam, office. right? It is. Yeah. It is. Absolutely. Uh, how did you get involved with this, Tom? Well, you know, um, I had been researching senior care. It was something that I wanted to get involved with. And uh, I had an opportunity uh, about a year ago to um, get involved. And I was talking to some folks and I ended up talking with the folks at Armistead. And uh, they said they needed a president. And we talked for a few months and we, we came to uh, an agreement. But Armistead was founded by Rachel Lee Cummings, 23 years old, in her oh. dorm room. Really? Armistead's her grandfather's name. And she was kind of frustrated about the lack of services and resources available to her to try to help take care of her grandfather. So she founded Armistead in 1999. And now we have branches in uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, and of course now here in Schenectady. Yeah, that's so. really is a wonderful service. What kinds of services do you provide? So, you know, we um, provide non-medical in home care for seniors and folks living with disabilities. So we will do medication reminders, transportation, some light housekeeping, meal preparation. And then, you know, I guess it all falls under the umbrella of companionship. Mm -hmm. Somebody's there. We have a lot of folks that, you know, we'll just take out to the market. We'll take them to, you know, the, the, the convenience doctor's stores, appointment doctor's appointments. Um, and then, you know, a lot of it has to do about respite care, too, because of the family caregivers, this is a big job. And, you know, sometimes, uh, the husband just wants to go out and play around a golf and we'll stay home or vice versa. Somebody wants to go out. somebody up. with him. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, we can provide the family home care 
give her with that respite care. Now, is this only for seniors or is it for a anyone? Well, it is for anyone, but the majority of the clients we serve are seniors. Okay, so yeah. you're just living with some level of yeah. disabilities. That's I hate right. the word disabilities, yeah, but yeah, abilities. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay, I, I know what you mean. You hate to say just right, use right. That, but th they just have they're challenged in certain areas, right, right, that they can't do. So if they want to uh, find out more about the um, event, uh, you have a website, and I understand that the website is kind of just being changed in transition, a little bit. yeah, yeah. Should and, be this week, but it yeah. should be okay, and I'll put it in my uh, newsletter. I'll make sure that that's in there. Uh, it's Friday on September twenty first from six thirty to eight thirty at ninety five Dahlia Street in Schenectady. Where is Dahlia Street? It's, it's right off, off of Gilderland Avenue. Off of Gilderland. Heading west right, towards right. Route 20. Okay, good. Very easy to find, actually. Yeah. And can and I quickly mention, we also have the Alzheimer's Walk coming up as well. Oh, really? And we're yeah. very involved with the Alzheimer's Association. They're a wonderful, wonderful group of They're people. They're wonderful yeah. people. They are. And we have a... We're, we're I have trying a friend to, who's on their board, so yeah. And we, we have a, a group. We're working on a team. So if anybody would like to donate or walk, walk with us, be we'd great. be so happy to have them join us. Yeah. That is on... October 20th. October 20th in Albany. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll try and put some of this on the... Um, on our website so that the people are aware of that Wonderful. so if you if you give me that I don't have that the Alzheimer's thing here I don't think so but let me know it and I'll put it up there oh, that's great. we've been Thanks. talking with Lauren Harrington she's the uh, general manager of uh, Armistead caregiver service they're located now in Schenectady at 45 Dahlia Street uh, you can certainly give them a call go to their website check it out and see if perhaps some of their services uh, are what you'd like to avail yourself of and uh, it's all non-medical, and, and, and um, Tom Juris is the president. Thank you for Thanks having for coming us. into the area. Thank you. Good Thanks, to have yeah. you here now. We're huge Schenectady Today fans. Yeah. I know, I know. Good. <laughs> <laughs>